All right, good morning, guys. It is Sunday. We're supposed to get a big storm today, but right now it's still sunny. It's starting to cloud over a little bit, but it's only start to, supposed to start this afternoon. Um, so yesterday I got all this wall done. I just dusted all this stuff and this little wall here and scrubbed whatever chunks were off the floor. I washed this side of the door. Um, I was just taking a little break for a minute and then I'm just going to get all this washed up real quick, fix the boot area, and just probably wash this door and that door, quickly wash everything down and then I'll be done and I can finally say that I washed the kitchen down. Uh, I might do it again in the springtime, just I wanted to get it done and it wasn't bad bad but Anyways, uh, it's 10.30 in the morning right now, and I had this pork roast that was already cooked. I had froze it. This was what was left of it. I don't, don't even know when I cooked this, but I'm just trying to take stuff out of the freezer that's in plastic containers and just get rid of that just so I can have more room, more containers, because eventually I have broth and stuff to make. So um I'm unsure of what kind of sauce that I want to put on this. I don't know if I'm just going to do like a barbecue sauce or I'm going to have to find something. Anyways, uh, I might cut up an onion and put some different vegetables in there. I'm not sure. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I know that we're going to have this for supper. Um, I might do some mashed potatoes to go with it or something of the sort. Uh, so I just pulled that out of the freezer anyways. I want to make myself another coffee and try to finish up that wall. So I'll be back in a little bit. All right, so I finished dusting all this cabinet and all these this wall, these walls here. I just have to start at this wall and go over. I organized. I went through this. I took out all the hats and mitts and scarves and stuff that we don't really use. I'm keeping them just because you can never have enough of that stuff. But there's just no point in having it overflowing in there. So I just kept the things in there that we use regularly. Uh, I had... This comes apart in two. I had one here and one there. But I just stuck it all into one and put it in the corner. And then we can hang our stuff there. I swept up the floor and all that stuff. And I wash down the front of this. I still have a piece of something down there that I scrape off. I'm going to wash everything down and finish this wall here, this whole wall, and then I will be done washing down the kitchen. I also decided for my menu, I uh, wiped it all down and I took a permanent marker. I don't know why I didn't think of that at first, but I wrote all the days and the flowers and everything you see in black is in permanent marker. I went ahead and I used this as a ruler so that I could kind of get the squares even. Uh, and I'll just write, I usually write the date up in the corner because every month it's the first or whatever starts on a different day. So, And then I can easily split the square in half and do like a lunch and a supper or whatever. And I just wrote happy birthday Riley because his birthday is on the 7th of March. And I can just, that erases every month. I just change that. So I went ahead and did, <clears throat> and did that. I'm going to work on a meal plan for March. I know there's still a week before, well, there's uh, four days before March, but whatever. I pretty well just know what I'm going to be making the next couple of days for meals. And I have tater tots and chicken in the oven, which look like they're about done, so. I'm going to go eat my lunch, and then when I am done, I'm going to finish this wall here, get it done, and move on to something else. All right, there's my lunch. Two pieces of chicken, some uh, cucumber, tater tots, and I just made like a spicy mayonnaise with uh, franks and mayonnaise and a Pepsi. Just going to show you guys it's starting to snow. And tell more when you look up this way. But it's still, the camera doesn't pick up as much as it, it's actually snowing. So I got all this cleaned out last night. I went out pretty much in my pajamas. I had a pair of shorts on and uh, 
got that done up. So the snow that we're getting has a little more place to go. I'm going to set this stuff up. I want to do the dishes and we'll have a little chat. Um, I'm in the process. Oh, you guys are blurry. I'm in the process of making mashed potatoes in my crock pot express. I got to check on the roast going on in there and see how that's doing. And I got Jay to cut up the watermelon that we bought the other day because Riley was asking me for some. So I'll probably snack on a bunch of that today or it's already four o'clock. So the rest of the day and uh, I'll put the rest away. So I'm going to go and set you guys up and then I'll be back. All right. I got you guys propped up on a, on a little log thing that I have. Yes, I'm still in my pajamas. It's Sunday, so. Um, I did not get the wall behind me finished. I got like all over there and all that thing done. And um, we'll probably later on wipe it down because if not, I'll just procrastinate and it won't get done. So. And then eventually, well, tomorrow if they cancel, they might cancel everything because of the snow that we're getting. We're supposed to get 25 to 30 centimeters today, and another 5 to 10 tomorrow. So that's a lot of snow. They may or may not cancel. And then today, I also, I just got rid of the bath not that long ago. Uh, I had a bad, bad headache. So, I took an Advil, and I went in the tub, which may or may not have been a smart idea, because I like to have hot baths, and it was so hot that when I got in it, I instantly started feeling my heart pounding in my head, so... But eventually, the headache's gone, so. Um, and then I also, on my Facebook, created a an event for, like, friends and family that are invited to Riley's birthday party. I had went over this morning and discussed it with my mom because we were supposed to have the birthday party at the swimming pool. But, um, my little cousin was born on the same day as Riley, and her mom is having the birthday party on the Saturday that I was going to have it, so, uh, this, and they're going swimming as well, so instead of going swimming two days in a row, which I'm sure the kids don't mind, my mom suggested, well, why don't we have it at my, her place, just because it's a little bit bigger, and they have their the space in the room and the, all that stuff. Um, have like a sliding party. The kids could bring all their outdoor stuff and slides and I'll get some hot dogs and pop and chips and juice. And stuff like that. Uh, and we'll just have a sliding party. Riley's up for the idea. So we were just discussing that and I just went and created a little event to invite everybody and let them know, give them a heads up because I know a lot of the ones that have birthday parties that we're invited to, they let us know a couple days before the birthday party is going to happen and it doesn't give you much time, especially if you have no money to uh, scrounge up a gift or whatever. So I like the people. I like like to let people know ahead of time if you're not really there if some of them take time off of work and whatever they can do that what needs to be done so so i got that done i had a bath i made lunch i got supper ready pretty early this morning i think it was like 10 and 30 when i prepped the roast but i only put it in the oven around one. It's been on low. I still haven't checked it, so I'm going to have to do that. And I finished
finished dusting that right there. Got that done and all that. Well, I showed you guys that, I think, at the beginning of this video. I've got my other video uploaded to YouTube. Yesterday's video it was a um, day late, but I think that's just how life is going to go right now. Um, what else? Riley's been gone next door pretty much all day. I'm just taking my bags down from up here. I'll put those away. Most of them are dry. Some of them are dry. And yeah, it's been a relaxing but productive day. If you guys don't know this already, um, keep your the bags, your cereal, cereal bags, they are great for um, storing stuff in. And then these little bags here, I buy the sandwich bags. And if as long as there's not any meat in them, I rinse them out. I hang them up on my little thing up there. And I reuse them and it saves me on bags. So that's just a little tip for you guys. If you didn't know already. And like I said, it kind of looks tacky having it in the kitchen. But honestly, I don't care. There's not really many people that come to visit. So, <sighs> Alright, I'm going to get that roast out and I'll be right back. i got to stop eating this watermelon. It's so stinking good. I've already had two pieces. You guys want a bite? It's really good for um, being this time of year. Very yummy. Um, the other day, remember I had that little orange light was on the stove? Eventually it went off. Um, after I had started up my oven and I baked in it and then eventually after that it shut off. So I was like, oh, that's good. I wasn't sure why it was on so. It's just weird sometimes, I guess. So I checked the roast, and it's cooked. Well, it was cooked to begin with, but it's thawed through and through. Um, I just shut the oven off. It's going to stay in the oven just to keep warm. I'm waiting for my crock pot to come up to pressure. And cook the potatoes. And then, I don't know, I think we're going to have some corn, maybe. So I'm going to go finish my watermelon, and I'll be back. If you guys watched my video yesterday on, uh, well, I just posted it today, but um, it was like I was going through the freezers and that, and I pulled this out, and I wasn't sure what it was. I accidentally left it on the counter, and I figured it out today what it was. It was celery soup. So it sucks that a whole container of it is wasted, um, but lesson learned. Next time, mark your stuff. I usually do. I don't know what went wrong there. I probably figured, oh, I'm going to know what that is. Yeah, don't fool, don't fool yourself like that because once it gets in the freezer and it's been in there for a while and you lose track of what it is, even if you think you're going to know what it is when you pull it out. So I'm going to go dump this outside because I don't want to take up any room in the, the garbage or anything like that. Plus it, it might leak. So I'm going to throw out these as well. We got like a raccoon or something that comes or comes along at night. Um, I had cooked these up for lunch, but I think I'm going to just leave them, give them to the stray cats tonight. Not much meat on a wing anyways. And these couple little tater tots I'm going to put in a bowl. And uh, I'm not even sure if Riley's coming home. I'm assuming he's not because it's 20 to 5. But later if he's hungry, I will just warm those up for him and he can have them. And they're, they don't go to waste, so... So you guys were propped up on this like that. You guys were leaning in here. Boiling the kettle. I'm going to make a small pot of coffee. My got five minutes left until my potatoes are done. I decided I was going to make some yellow beans and some corn because I don't think Jay can have very many beans because it's high in like phosphorus and potassium and stuff like that. I think unless they were talking like beans, uh, Well, there's still 4% of his daily intake of sodium in a half a can. But anyways, I don't know what this is. 140, holy crap, there's more in the corn than there is in the, 
and the yellow beans. Okay, the other day I bought a, some black turtle beans. I don't know if I had showed it in my grocery haul or not, but I was thinking of doing a black bean burger at some point. If you guys ever made them, um, let me know in the comments, you know, how you make them, if you like them, what you would add, what you wouldn't add, that type of thing. Like, obviously I can Google a recipe. It's not hard, but... Um, yeah, so, and I was thinking about kind of doing them in my crock pot, the whole bag, and then they'd be done and ready, but I don't think I have enough, uh, cans to do them, so I'll see. That might be something that I do tomorrow if we have a snow day, so. All right, I'll be back again. All right, so there's my supper. I got my yellow beans and my potatoes with gravy and my... Leftover roast pork and a little bit of barbecue sauce.